Sadi is an act in which a wife immolates herself along with her husband after his death. This practice is not considered nowadays and is illegal in India. Hinduism has accepted the practice of Sadi and it is also recognized in the sects of the religion. The practice of Sadi is mentioned in the scriptures of Hinduism. The existence of Sadi practice is a testimony to the fact that at that time women in India did not get a high position in the society. The Hindu practice of Sadi involves a wife immolating herself on her husband's funeral pyre. The word Sadi may have originated from the name of Shiva's wife, who was also known as Dakshiniani. She defied her father Daksha's ban on her marriage to Shiva and eventually took her own life after Daksha threw Shiva out of a festival. In response, Shiva kills Daksha and cuts off his head, later replacing his head with that of a goat. This practice was prevalent during the early and post-Brahmanical Dark Ages and is mentioned in Hindu scriptures. Shiva Purana, Kodarudra Samhita 4, 10, 23 to 24 The Brahmin lady desirous of entering the pyre in order to follow her husband cursed the Raksasa king, the chaste lady entered fire. Bhagwad Purana, Srimad Bhagavatam, 4, 28, 50 She then prepared a blazing fire with firewood and placed the dead body of her husband upon it. When this was finished, she lamented severely and prepared herself to perish in the fire with her husband. Swami Prabhupada writes on this verse. Swami Prabhupada comments on a Bhagwad Purana verse, stating that it was a long-standing tradition in the Vedic system for a wife to die alongside her husband, Samara. Despite it being prevalent in India even during British occupation, some wives were forced by their relatives to do so if they didn't choose to. Historically, the wife would enter the fire voluntarily, however. The British government deemed the practice as inhumane and banned it. As an example, after the death of King Pandu, his Two wives Kundi and Madra decided that one would stay to care for their children and the other would die with the king. In 1936, a devoted wife also voluntarily entered the fire of her husband. He also wrote, in the Vedic culture there is a system known as Sat or Samra, in which a woman dies with her husband. According to this system, if the husband dies, the wife will voluntarily die by falling in the blazing funeral pyre of her husband. Here, in this verse, the feelings. Inherent in this culture are expressed by the wife of the Brahma, a woman without a husband is like a dead body, therefore according to Vedic culture a girl must be married, this is the responsibility of her father. A girl may be given in charity and a husband may have more than one wife, but a girl must be married, this is Vedic culture, a woman is supposed to be always dependent in her childhood she is dependent on her father, in youth on her husband, and in old age on her elderly sons, according to Manasahit, she is never independent, independence for a woman means miserable life, in this age. So many girls are unmarried and falsely imagining themselves free, but their life is miserable, here is an instance in which a woman felt that without her husband she was nothing but a dead body. Swami Prabhupada on Bhagwad Purana 9, 9, 32, Bhagwad Purana 9, 9, 36 After this way cursing Maitra Saha, indulgent toward friends or Sodasa, she being devoted to be with her husband, found her destination by stepping into the fire that burned the bones of her husband, Srimad Bhagavatam 11, 31, 19 to 20 tormented by separation from the Lord, his parents gave up their lives at that very spot, my dear Parkat, the wives of the Adavas then climbed onto the funeral pyres, embracing their dead husbands, the wives of Lord Balama also entered the fire and embraced his body, and Vasudeva's wives entered his fire and embraced his body, the daughters-in-law of Lord Harry enter the funeral fires of their respective husbands, headed by Prajuna and Rukmi and the other wives of Lord Ka whose hearts were completely absorbed in him entered his fire, Garuda Purana 1, 107, 29 A wife who dies in the company of her husband shall remain in heaven as many years as there are hairs on his person, Garuda Purana 2, 4. 88 to 97 woman who has been chaste and faithful to her husband should mount on the pyre after bowing to her deceased husband before the funeral. Right start, one who gets away from the pyre due to fainting should observe the vow named Prajapatya, one who ascends the pyre and follows up her husband stays in heaven for a period equal to the number of hair on the body. 
three and a half crore. Just as the snake charmer takes out the snake from the hole so also she takes out her husband from hell and enjoys with him in paradise. She who ascends the pyre goes to heaven. She is praised by the celestial nymphs and enjoys with her husband so long as the fourteen Indras rule in heaven successively. Even if the man has killed a Brahmana or a friend or any other person of noble conduct he is purified of sins by his wife who ascends his pyre, a woman who enters fire after the death of her husband prospers in the heaven like Orondotti, until and unless the woman burns herself after her husband's death she is never released from the bond of her sex, a woman who follows her husband purifies the three families on her mother's side. The three families on her father's side and the three families on her husband's side, another verse mentioned in Garuda Purana translated by Ernest and Subramaniam shows how a widow repented, Garuda Purana 2, 40 not knowing my duty I did not serve my husband, nor after his death enter the fire, having become widowed I performed no austerities, O dweller in the body, make reparation for whatever you have done. Garuda Purana 10, 42 when a woman burns her body with her husband's, the fire burns her limbs only, but does not afflict her soul, Garuda Purana 10, 45-46 Likewise she who has joined her husband is never burnt, her inner soul becomes unified with that of her husband, by death, the woman who does not burn herself in the fire, on her husband's death, is certainly never released from feminine bodies, Garuda Purana 10, 48 The woman who ascends the funeral pyre, when her husband is dead, becomes equal to Arundhati, and attains the heaven, she who, goes with her husband purifies three families her mother's, her father's, and that into which she was given, Brahma Purana Gautama Mahatmya 10, 75 dying immediately after the husband is the greatest duty of women. This is the path laid down in the Vedas, the woman who follows her husband shall stay in heaven for as many years as there are hairs in a man's body, viz, three and a half crores of years, Brahmanda Purana 2, 3, 30, 39 by entering this burning pyre, I will be slightly after a long time, the dear guest of my husband in the world of the Pitas, Mains, after saying these words with firm decision. Renuka decided to follow her husband by entering the fire, Vimana Purana 46, 4-22. A king died childless, and his wife worked bitterly and embraced his corpse until a bird told her that she would have seven sons if she mounted her husband's funeral pyre. She obeyed, and as she entered the fire the king arose and flew into the sky with her. By his power of yoga, when the queen entered her fertile period the king felt it his duty not to neglect her, he made love to her in the air, and his seed fell down from the sky, then he went with her to the world of Brahma to dwell eternally, but the wives of the seven sages saw the cloud-like seed falling from the sky into a flower, and they thought it was Soma, wishing to be young forever, they bathed ritually, honored their own husbands, and drank the king's seed. The moment that they drank it, Having thus unconsciously violated their chastity, they lost their holy luster, and all their husbands abandoned them immediately as sinners, they gave birth to the seven Maruts, storm gods, Padma Purana 5, 106, 60 having raised her, Naida said to the pure one about her dead, husband, O innocent one of large eyes, please go to your husband, O you of large eyes, your husband, abandoned by his kinsmen, is dead. O auspicious one, you should not weep, enter fire, i.e. funeral pyre of your husband, 65 to 68, if you will go to, i.e. desire to enter, fire there, then do not weep, O daughter, if you have committed a sin like enjoying another man, than your husband, then make an expiation to purify that. On entering into the fire your minor sins will perish, Padma Purana 6, 252, 89 to 90 Rukmaputri with Prajuna, USA with Anurud and all Yodava ladies honored the bodies of their husbands and entered fire, Skanda Purana 3, 1, 12, 115 to 116 ere long thereafter, King Manojava abandoned his body and went to the world of Siva. Due to the power of that Tirtha, O Brahmanas, his wife Sumitra embraced his body then and ascended his funeral pyre, she too attained the same world. Skanda Purana 5, 1, 53, 38 to 41, the beautiful woman gathered fuel and twigs together and kindled the funeral pyre which she ascended along with her husband, she was mentally pleased in doing so. 
Skanda Purana 3, 2, 7, 53 to 56, a chaste woman who follows her husband from the house to the cremation ground for self-immolation undoubtedly attains the merit of a horse sacrifice at every step, just as a snake catcher forcibly retrieves a snake from its hole, so also a chaste woman retrieves her husband from the messengers of Yama and goes to heave, on seeing a chaste woman the messengers of Yama flee. On seeing the splendor of a chaste woman even the sun feels burning sensation, even the fire gets burnt and all other luminaries begin to tremble. A chaste woman sportingly enjoys heavenly pleasures along with her husband for as many crores and 10,000 years as there are hairs on her body, Naida Purana, Uttarabhaga 16, 85 to 89 she sold off a bangle and brought a great deal of fuel, she prepared the funeral pyre, after placing her dead husband on it, she poured ghee over the pyre, fuel, she too climbed on the funeral pyre joining her face to his face, her heart near his heart and oh gentle lady, her buttocks near his buttocks, with her foot she dragged the fire, the auspicious lady of charming limbs set fire to the ailing body of the husband along with her body, as the fire blazed brightly, she cast off her body and went to the world of the devas taking her husband with her after annihilating many of his sins by means of her holy rites very difficult to be performed. Nalita Purana, Uttarabhaga 30, 87 With a great deal of merits the woman goes to the region of Visnu along with her husband if her body is cremated along with him, but a woman greedy of wealth and of her body, attains Yama's torture and the affliction of being born in base wombs of lower species, Vimana Purana 46, 51-53. Then after a long time that beloved slender-bodied queen of the king had pregnancy from that best of kings, during the pregnancy of the wife the king died. She, loyal to her husband, while desiring to get upon the funeral pyre of her husband, was prevented by the ministers, but could not be stopped. There is another fake story circulated on internet that Wives of kings used to immolate themselves only if the kings went into battle with Muslims, Jauha wasn't practiced when rival king was Hindu, let's not indulge in history and check what scripture says, Vishnu Purana 3, 18, 51 to 55 it is related that there was formerly a king named Sadadhanu, whose wife Saivya was a woman of great virtue, she was devoted to her husband, benevolent, sincere, pure. Adorned with every female excellence, with humility and discretion, after a time the Raja, triumphant over his enemies, died, and the princess ascended the funeral pile of her husband, there is no reference that King Sadadhanu lived in the period of Muslims and here we read that the wife of the king ascended funeral pyre of her husband after he died in, or after, the battle. So this refutes the claim of people who tries to blame others for all evil practices of their religion, if self. Immolation with husband is such a great virtue then why don't Hindu scripture says the same about men? But not all women are supposed to practice sadhu practice, Brahmin women are barred from practicing it as it will be Brahmin slaughter. Other than Brahmin women, following women are also exempted from ascending the funeral pyre of their husbands, Naida Purana 1, 7, 52 O blessed princess. The following, ladies, do not ascend funeral pyre, viz, those with infant children, depending on them, pregnant women, those whose monthly course has not yet started and women in the menses, Shiva Purana narrates story of Shiva who in the form of a merchant went to his devotee who was a prostitute to test her, he had sexual relation with her and asked her to be his wife for three days and a night. This can also be considered as temporary marriage or fornication since the story doesn't narrate rituals pertaining to marriage. So after having sex with her, Shiva decided to give up his life and asked the prostitute Mahananda to lit funeral pyre, the prostitute too decided to ascend the funeral pyre as she had vowed to be the merchant's wife for three days, Shiva Purana, Satarudra Samhita 3, chapter 26, verses 38 to 51 O oh my beloved, when the phallic image is smashed and burnt I do not desire to live, I am telling you the truth. There is no doubt in this, O oh gentle lady, prepare a pyre for me immediately through. Your servants, with my mind fixed in Siva, I shall enter the fire. With my mind fixed in Siva, I shall enter the fire, then the merchant who was only Siva himself went round the blazing fire, desirous of knowing her intentions he entered the fire firmly, taking the gemset bangle I had taken the pledge that I shall be the avowed wife of this merchant for three days, as she was going to jump in the fire with her mind fixed in his feet, Siva, the soul of the universe, appeared in front and stopped her. 